This is the setup for testing uh, Tesla batteries that I've come up with. And uh, this is a brand new Tesla battery that we got for an upcoming project. This is some um, three old Tesla cells out of a pack of seven that we got probably a year ago. Uh, four of them uh, didn't measure up, but these were the three that did. Uh, so I'm testing these compared to the new one, and what I've done is I've I charge take I charge them back and forth from this one cell here to this one group here. Charge one, discharge the other, feed one into the other. We got our management system all set up with the safeties to stop when it gets to a certain point. This is our right at this moment this is our uh, Tesla pack our 18 Teslas and I'm only as you see I'm only looking at four of them five, six of them uh, and I've drained them down this is our other pack our brand new one now we've charged him all the way up uh, and What I have here is a tra big transformer and a big bridge rectifier uh, so that we can pump out. Uh, we're actually able to pump out 100 amps with this. And I got a little variable uh, transformer so I can turn the power going into this up or down. And if we look right here, here's our, our, our 1990s. E meter. This was what was popular in electric cars in the 90s, and you see as we turn it up, it uh, you know I can turn it up quite a bit. At some point, I'll put it at 60 amps right now. Yep, we just clicked off, and there goes our relay. So we're right at the top of of our charge. So I'm now going to turn these guys around and start feeding the electricity back in the other way. Now. We look over here and we see we've taken 188.3 amp hours out. 188. So, of course, I'm keeping track of all this stuff. So I know where what the voltages are. At a, well, I got it at 187. So at 187. So now we're going to reverse things and go back the other way. All right, and without even any current at all, and with our bridge rectifier across here, which drops us a volt and a half, we're actually putting out uh, 90 amps. I don't know what would happen if I shorted that guy out. Yeah, look at that, 100 and, 105 just from there. So that's a good driving down the road amperage. So let's take a look here and see what's going on with our, our voltages. This guy is coming up. And this guy is going down. So we're going to do the cycle. I'm going to switch all my switches because I'm now charging with that guy. And I'm now discharging with this guy. And we'll see what this guy does. There we go. Cycling batteries. Measuring their capacitance.